when you're on the other side of the scale and it's up in the air higher than the other side. So that'll tell us, tell our robot to go an extra like two inches up to the air compared to normal scale, which is like level, and then you have low scale. How many of you are interested in like design, art type of stuff? Because one thing that's important to think about when you're designing products, look at the fact that there's some colors on the screen and some different font sizes and how things are laid out. It's not the prettiest right now, but they've made a few choices that really improve things. One, like see how one's green and one's red? That tells us which way we're gonna shoot, so we know which camera to look at when we're about to shoot. Because otherwise, we just, we guessed and we, we hope that the driver remembered which button they pushed, but sometimes the buttons were upside down. <coughs> they had to flip it so it made more sense. So a lot of setting up what's called an interface is about designing for people. So not just saying what's going to look good and what's going to be artistic, but what's going to work well with humans. Because this robot doesn't drive itself. Well, it does for a few minutes, a few seconds at the beginning. But most of the match, it's humans trying to use this complicated machine. And even if we built the best machine ever, it's no good if we can't control it. So there's a lot of design that has to happen. So that's one thing that a lot of people forget is that engineering isn't just running wires, it's designing things for people to use them. At the RFL. This is a uh, motor controller. 